What do you know guys, it's King Gizmo, and today we are getting the Platinum Trophy for Control. Um, I can't tell you how many Platinum Trophies this is, um, because I have like other Platinum Trophy videos already lined up to be edited and posted, so when you see this I'm probably working on the other ones right now, um, as I'm also working on another Platinum. Uh, I get the first trophy for... Um, like a chapter it, it, you, and then you get trophies for collecting abilities and all that and you get trophies for collecting collectibles so the game's pretty straightforward most of it is doing missions unlocking perks um putting unlocking things for your weapons um unlocking all the weapons unlocking all your abilities um, going through all the missions, doing stuff with your abilities, so it's pretty much plain and simple, unlocking all the the checkpoint areas, so it, it's all pretty much simple. Um, the game control was pretty good, it was a PS Plus game um, a little while back that I thought, I don't think I'd play this, but it, I'd throw it in my library just in case. And, well, good thing I did, because, well, I played it, and it was a pretty decent game. I'm not gonna give it, like, amazing. It's pretty tedious uh, and repetitive, for, because all you do is use your abilities to kill the hiss. <laughs> so, it's, it's a semi-repetitive game, I would say. Most people would say it's more repetitive. Than what I'm saying it is, but I think Control is a pretty good game. It's unique, and I enjoyed it. I I I found myself liking the game in the middle, and then toward the end, for some reason, I just wanted the game to be done. After beating the game, I just wanted the platinum. I wanted to be done. I <laughs> I did not want to play the game anymore. From how like like draining it was because of how long I played the game for. I played it for like maybe 30, 30, 40 hours. And the game was, it was not bad, but it, it doesn't have that, it, it doesn't pull you in. Every time you go to a, like say you clear out an area and then five minutes later you go through that same area. You have no clue if there's going to be enemies or not, because it's completely random. And I think that's kind of weird how a place can just rather be not uh, respond or respond. Um, but it, it is what it is. Um, I like the, uh, the story aspect, even though it's kind of trippy and you don't really get much of her background. You just know that she was taken by... Uh, her and her brother were taken by this company when they were kids. Experimented on. Uh, she supposedly escaped while he was stuck there. And she's trying to find, them, find her brother, even though he's evil. But... This game was good. It is good. Um, for like the first, I want to say 10 hours, 10, 15 hours, it's, it's good, I like it, but it's very repetitive because you quite literally just use the same like three, four abilities over and over and over again to defeat mobs. You got boss fights in this game, I think you got about four or five boss fights that are really not that hard if you have um, modifications on your weapons, decent modifications. You won't get the really good ones until uh, until like the end of the game or after you beat the game. You won't get the best ones until then. Um, like this is one of the boss fights. I actually died killing it, which I was confused on how I died killing it, but I, I got the trophy. I beat it, I didn't have to go back and do it, I was completely fine with that. Um, but yeah, a lot of these are like, you have to kill a certain amount of 
hiss, you gotta collect a certain amount of things, you gotta, yeah, there's some odd and end trophies that aren't, like, too hard to explain, but the game itself is alright. If you want a easy platinum, I would say this is probably a Two to three out of ten difficulty. It's not hard. It's not like the hardest game or the easiest game. It's just a two out of three difficulty. Uh, two, two out of three difficulty. What the heck? Two to three out of ten for difficulty. Um, but other than that, it's it's all right. Um. A lot of things in this game I didn't really keep up with the story considering I just skipped through it because I didn't really care for the story um, I will say I'll be playing Jedi Survivor here soon and I will be listening to that story because I played Jedi Fallen Order and I loved that game it was an amazing game I also have the platinum for that no platinum video but I could probably do one for the PS5 version yeah right here I fall out of the map I have no clue why. Every game I play, I swear I ha run into some glitch or bug that none of my friends do. Like when I platinum the first three Uncharted games and I was doing my crushing difficulty run, I ran into so many glitches and bugs. My buddies were like, we've never run into that one of my buddies was like I've played this game so many times and I've never ran into a glitch or a bug and I'm just like well guess what I did don't know how it's possible but I did um, yeah no well I got a lot of videos to catch up on um, this is really nothing special um, control is like I said, it's not a special game, it's just... It, it's alright for what it is. I mean, I enjoyed it for the bit of time I was playing it. Um, but, play Control, I can't stop you. Um, the video is coming to an end where I achieved the Platinum Trophy. Um, and I was kind of happy I achieved the Platinum Trophy. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next. I do platinum videos all the time. I do other content. Um, just comment down what comment down below what you would would want to see me play. Subscribe supports the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later.